So today, I'm replacing my motor gear on the back side of propeller two. I'm gonna take this screw out. This holds the prop down. It just holds the whole unit down right here so it don't fly out. Okay, so you got two here. So we got that one, this one, and this one. So we got a total of four screws. Let me see here if I can get this one out of here. Okay, so we got those out. Now you can take the prop off. We can take the prop off first. It doesn't matter whatever way you do it. But either way, I'm going to do it this way. So, prop off. Pop the whole piece out here. Pull it out like so. Pull out your propeller lock and voila there's your gear right there you could push the motor out well see this here you gotta take this top off here just kind of pull straight out there's that here's the motor you just pinch it it slips right out and there's the gear booyah so you just take it push it up with your little screwdriver or they give you a they even give you tools to do it. I just use the bottom of the screwdriver. Slip it on there. Now I've punctured my finger doing this before. It really hurt. Just push it down there, a little bit of pressure. Um, make sure it's just flush with the top of the the gear there or the shaft there. Voila. Remember not to pull on your your cord or your wires here. Okay, so there's that and just reverse process slip your gear back in at the bottom big gear and you put your gear right back down in there and it will line right back up there with the big gear so now you see that it spins and the little gear will be spinning too because it's actually the little gear spinning the big gear so the propeller spins okay so we'll put this back in here there's two little clips at the bottom there's two little two little tabs here i should say you put that in there and you got to make sure it gets in there just right so then make sure your wires aren't in the way of your body here for piece here I should say the top half of your drone so make sure they're tucked down in there away from the wire like the screw holes there you don't want them to be broke or we jammed down there with the screws and getting broke two to two so anyway I got one being a little bit just a little bit picky okay so you gotta put this back on there your little cap you can just slip it right over top slip it down in there and it also will sit right down there on top of the prong make sure your wires are good make sure the wires are all down the middle of that so you're not pinching them. Slip it all back under there, push it back down, it's in place. Just snap your body back down on here, your top half here, snapped, and you put your prop back on or you can just put your bolt back in, either way. And the easy way to do this bolt I've learned because there's a little divot down in there that we'll tuck into <laughs> it's fun getting that out of there so what we'll do is hold the drone up to where your bolt hole because the bolt hole is right back here so you just hold the drone up just like that take the bolt and just drop it kind of shake it down a little bit but not too far back and you should be able to land right on top of it should be right in the hole that's the quickest way I've learned to do it. And perfect. Tight. Done. You take the whole drone apart, make sure you keep all your bolts where they belong. I mean, because you don't want, they do have skinnier ones, they have fatter ones, they've got shorter ones, and uh, if you put them in the wrong place, they won't hold the body together right. So it will unsnap a little bit. Lesson learned on that. Yep. So we got one, 
two, three, and four. So then we'll go ahead and put this one back in here. This is a fun part too because it's kind of a tight space to work with. Um, just make sure you got your teeny tiny screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, that helps out a lot too. There's that. How to. Quick, easy, done. I'm ready to fly. See if that takes care of my wobbliness. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I appreciate it, guys. So thank you for watching and subscribe and like.